looking for y equals mx plus b, and m, your slope, is what's changing. Violence, okay, we're recording. Do not interrupt me again, please. Have a seat. Okay. Now, during a, uh, okay. Slope is what's changing. So what's changing in this problem, the lady? There you go. What is changing? Um, the okay, by how much each year? 2,000. 2000. 43. 42 and 43. Are you supposed to see the problems on here? Yeah, you should keep this in view. That's 42? Uh, not right. yet. We're, we're still reading. We're, we haven't even gotten to 42 and 43. 42 and 43 on page 283 have an explanation at the top. We're still translating the explanation into numbers. Okay? So, oh, I did this one, actually. congratulations. Okay, now, um, what's the first year they talk about, the lady? Okay, so 1991 is going to be the year when t equals zero. That's our starting year. So we're going to make that time equals zero, starting in 1991. And it's going up by 2,000 people a year starting in 1991. Time. Time passes. You've used t instead of x in this case. Okay, now they give us another fact in there. What other fact is there that they mentioned before you get to the problem? Let's see, it's the first sentence. In 1991, the population was... In 1991, the population was... Give me that number. 132,000. Okay? In 1991, the population was 132,000. They've actually given us a point here. Okay? 1991 is year zero. How many people were there then? 132,000. It's changing by an amount of 2,000 people a year. Incidentally, I need to not put a comma there. That could be confusing. If you see a point on a graph that's zero comma anything, what does that make you? What should that make you think of at this point? Point on a graph on a line that's zero comma anything. What is that, Jenny? It's, um, that's the M. Or exactly wrong. That's the B. That's the B, okay? In Y equals MX plus B, M is the slope. Yeah. Don't do that today. Um, M is the slope, and it passes through the point 0, comma, B. So, the lady, if they give you 0, comma, and a number, that's your B right there. Oh. M is what it's changing by. Okay. Now, if they didn't give us zero comma, if they had said in some other year this was the population, then we would have had to have done some algebra to figure out what B was, or we would have had to have done that trick where we counted backwards yesterday so we got to zero. Then, wait, how did we get that zero? How did we get that zero? Okay, in 1991, the population was 132,000. 1991, we're saying, is year zero. So that's our starting point. Okay, so we're gonna. So now we can go ahead and say our equation is y equals 2,000 x plus 132,000. Which one is this? This is uh, we're we're still building up. To, uh, I think we just answered number 42, right? 42 says write an equation that models the population of Kenosha in terms of x, where x is the number of years since 1991. So this is this is the answer to number 42. Yes, sir. Can I borrow a pencil for you? No. Oh, land negotiation. Oh, I have some in my locker. Yeah. Wait, I have a question. You still pencil? Do you have some in your locker? Please return it before you leave. Oh. Yes. Um, could you write that equation out as um y equals two thousand x plus b, and then under it say b equals one? Yes, you can. But your um, you can show that as steps. But the final uh, the instructions say write a model. And for your final model, you have to have a number in for B. That's got to be, your final answer's got to look like that. Let's take a look at number 40. This is 42. 42 just says come up with that equation. That's what come up with the linear model means. 43, it says use the model to estimate the population of Kenosha in 2006. Okay. 
for 43. 1991 is when x equals 0. 2006, therefore, is going to be when x equals... Huh, what do you guys think about that? 1991 oh. is when x equals 0. 14 something. It's 146. Oh, 150, right? 15 years. Just 15. Oh. It's not 150 years. Only 15 years have passed in between here. Oh, not to just come off for the total numbers. No, not the total. So, so if 1991 is year 0, 2006 is year 15. Yeah. And then what do we do from there, Peter? Don't we plug in all this stuff? Which stuff we're specifically? That like confuses the M, me. The X, and the B. Well, we've already plugged in the M and the B well, the up X here. The X then. That's all that's left. Very good. So the answer to this one is Y equals 2,000 times 15 plus 132,000. And this will be my population in the year 2006. Anyone got an answer for this? I thought it was like 15,000. That's more than that. We're going to multiply 2,000 times 15. 30,000. 30,000, yeah, 30,000. 1,000. Okay, well, that's not our total population. Jenny? Um, your total population is 1,000 or 162,000. Or 30, yeah, 60. It's 162,000 total. Yeah. So you're coming up a little short there, Nick, on yours. Um, Peter, you were doing a very good job of telling me how many people had joined since 1991, but uh, the question yeah, was, no, what's I, the total? I thought you were asking, like, Wait, first steps. Isn't he right, actually? Isn't it 1,062? No, that's right. 162. No. Uh, I mean, 32. 15 times 2 is 30. 30. Yeah. So 15 times 2,000 is 30,000. 132,000 plus 30,000 more is 162,000. 162,000 is the answer. Correct. 162,000 is the final answer for number 43. Okay? The way it really speeds, the thing that really speeds this up is if you notice that they give you the population in 1991, and 1991 is year zero, and you quickly go, oh, that means it's zero comma 132,000. This is my y-intercept. So that goes in the B spot. That will speed it up for you if you notice that. Yes, Brandon? I was going to ask you to go over number uh, 46. 46. I might have to, let me see how long that'll be because i got something I'm going to say here. Okay, cellular rates. What time did we get out of here? I don't know. Let's not worry about that yet. Enjoy the moment while you're here. I'll try sure. my hardest. Okay. Sure, sure. All right, we're getting there to lunch. Quiet. Don't, give me, don't make me have to edit something or I won't put this up. Okay. You are moving to Houston, Texas, and you are switching your cell phone company. Your new peak airtime rate in Houston is 23 cents per minute. This just doesn't work this way anymore. Your bill also includes a monthly access charge. For 110 minutes of peak airtime, your bill is 51.30. Write an equation that models the cost C of your monthly bill in terms of the number of minutes and used. All your minutes are during peak airtime. Okay. May I erase 42 and 43? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Eraser. Now, once again, what uh, what form is this model going to take? What is this basically going to look like? Excellent, Brandon. I didn't think I was answering that, asking that question clearly, and you figured it out anyway. It's going to be a y equals mx plus b kind of situation. Okay. Um, this is annoying. Oh, they're being really annoying. Okay, well, remember, slope is always what's changing. You're, you're using your phone. Your phone has two things going on. It's got a monthly charge, and you pay that whether you use it or not, and then it's got a minute charge that only kicks in if you're talking to somebody. Which of those two things is the thing that is changing? The monthly charge or the by-minute charge? The, the by-minute, or no, the no monthly, monthly charge. charge. Monthly. Oh, denied. It's the by-minute charge. So Jenny started to say first, okay? It's the by-minute charge. Think about this for a minute. You pay the monthly charge, that is always staying the same. The thing that is always staying the same, the thing that is there even if you do nothing, that's always going to be your y-intercept in these models. So the monthly charge is always there, and it'll tell us what the monthly charge is. We're going to figure that out in a minute. 